Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for holding today's hearing on planetary science. And I hope we do focus on the science, and I want to welcome our distinguished panel witnesses this morning. The accomplishments in planetary science research and robotic exploration of the solar system are indicative of the ex exemplary work being done by NASA and its industry contractors, academia, and the nongovernmental entities that comprise the planetary science community. The discoveries and advancements being enabled by NASA's planetary science program are, in fact, thrilling. Just weeks from now, NASA's MAVEN spacecraft will enter into Mars orbit for its study of the Mars atmosphere. In October, just over a month from now, it will be all hands on deck for our Mars orbiters and rovers when NASA will have an unprecedented opportunity to use these assets to observe C-2013A1, otherwise known as Comet Sighting Spring, as it passes near Mars and bathes the planet in dust from its coma and tail. It is fortuitous that MAVEN, which will be a key observer of this event, will have arrived just weeks before Sighting Spring's encounter with Mars. Finally, later this fall, the European U.S. Rosetta Comet mission will make the first attempt at a controlled landing of a robotic lander on a comet. What this means to me is that we are getting real value from our investments, our current investments in planetary science. And in fact, I would point out that the um, authorization bill that was approved unanimously out of this subcommittee and out of this uh, Congress uh, balances those investments with other investments that we are making in the other important missions of NASA. Uh, because a strong planetary science program is important not only to advancing our scientific understanding of the solar system, but also to detecting potentially hazardous near-Earth objects, providing scientific insights relevant to the long-term goal of sending humans to Mars and to training of our future scientists and engineers. And I can't underscore enough the importance of NASA's programs, including planetary science, to inspiring the next generation. NASA's science missions provide concrete connections between learning science, technology, engineering, math in the classroom, and exciting projects in space, perhaps even ones that students dream to be part of one day. Mr. Chairman, I look forward to hearing from our witnesses on the many developments taking place in planetary science. I also look forward to working with you to ensuring that, Na that Congress provides the resources NASA needs for all its mission areas, including planetary science, to enable a robust and innovative 21st century U.S. space program going forward. And while my understanding is that uh, the purpose of this hearing is to examine planetary science as well, I note that the majority has asked for a discussion on H.R. 5063, the Asteroids Act. Uh, the issues raised by the Act on resource utilization and property rights are important and interesting areas that I hope the subcommittee will continue to explore more substantively in the next Congress. Uh, before I close, I also want to acknowledge uh, the presence of our former Chairman Bart Gordon um, uh, with us here today and say hello to him and thank him for his continued uh, public service even outside of Congress. And I want to take a moment to remember a key figure in NASA's planetary sciences, Dr. Noel Henners, who passed away just this last Friday. Dr. Henners was a chief scientist of NASA, director of the Goddard Space Flight Center out in Prince George's County, uh, where I live. Uh, he directed also the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum and was vice president of flight systems at Lockheed Martin, where he was responsible for Lockheed's work on planetary science missions. NASA's planetary science program wouldn't be what it is today without the contributions of leaders such as Dr. Henners. And our thoughts and prayers are with his family during this difficult time. Uh, I want to say in, in closing that we have a lot of issues to explore, and they aren't just about the United States. They, they implicate uh, our partners internationally. And so as we move forward, let's think about our responsibility uh, not just to uh, U.S.-based uh, companies, and we are concerned about those, but also to connecting our concerns with our international partners so that we can truly move forward in a 21st century manner for our space program. And I yield back.